All right, what's going on everybody? So as many of you will remember when I got my TSW wheels, I love the look of them, I really do. But they came with these ugly TSW center caps, which I do not like. And the stock center caps from the Corvette were supposed to fit, they don't. And uh, now the only thing that they gave me were these ugly chrome ones. And you know, you stand back from the car, they stick out like a sore thumb. So I decided to finally do something about it. So last night I took off my fronts and popped out the center caps and I got uh, all kinds of paints and everything over here. So just let me show you what I got so far. So I don't know how well you can see here in the sunlight, but this is what it looks like so far. The color match is really, really good. Got about four coats of primer on there and two coats of paint so far. And um, I think these are gonna look a lot better than that ugly chrome, which everyone knows I do not like. So, you know, hopefully those will look a lot better and I, and I think they will. I think it's gonna be a good finished product. But anyway, back to the vlog. What's up everybody, Mike here. I hope everyone had an amazing weekend. I know I did. If anybody caught my vlog on Friday, I know I had a ton of stuff uh, planned for the weekend, but everything worked out really, really well. So I got up early Saturday morning, went to Cars and Coffee. Great turnout as always. I actually had three people come down uh, who knew me from the channel, which was just incredible. You know, thank you guys so much for taking the time to come out and show your support. And uh, you know, one guy, James, sorry to put your name on blast, uh, but uh, we talked for like half an hour, had a great time, and we actually went for a little ride in the C7, which was just a, a little point I wanted to make. You know, if anybody comes out to see me and you know they haven't seen a C7 up close or they want to ride in one and that's something they're interested in, do not hesitate to ask because I don't care at all. That is no big deal whatsoever uh, to do that. And as many of you will notice, this is a POV vlog today. My last POV video was pretty well received, so I decided to go with it. And um, you know, I like to switch it up every once in a while, so that's what we're doing. So then after Cars and Coffee, I have a little story. So I was on my way home, it's Saturday afternoon, no traffic, little two lane highway in typical Pennsylvania fashion. But um, anyway, so I'm on my way home driving, I don't know, I'm about half an hour into my trip, it takes about an hour to get down there. And um, so you know, I'm just cruising along, I'm in the right lane doing about 70 miles an hour. And uh, I have my cruise control set. So I'm just doing the same speed the whole time. So next to me for the last couple of miles, there's this woman in some Acura SUV and MDX or whatever it was. And she's in the left lane, just cruising along as, as you would come to expect here in, in the United States. So she's cruising along and she's one of these people who she could make a wrong turn at, you know, and end up on Mars, but she's too hopped up on her Long Island iced teas and her Xanax for the day to even notice. So she has no idea what planet she's even on. But anyway, she's in the left lane cruising next to me for miles. So up ahead, because I'm actually paying attention, I see an 18-wheeler. Now the 18-wheeler at this point is about three quarters of a mile ahead, maybe even a mile. It's pretty far. So I'm like, all right, well, obviously I'm going to need to, you know, obviously I'm going to need to pass this woman because I don't want to get stuck behind the 18-wheeler. And of course, there's a line of traffic behind her waiting to pass, which is never going to happen. So. I drop it into fourth gear and give it a little gas. And now, you know, I'm not flooring it. I'm about half throttle, just accelerating, but I'm gaining speed at a relatively fast pace. And what do you suppose happens as I begin to gain speed? Well, you'd be right. She starts to speed up as well for no reason. So now in my head, I'm like, oh Lord, why, why, why do we have to do this? But anyway, so I'm gaining some speed here and now it's about the 18 wheeler in the right lanes about half a mile ahead. So I'm like, okay, well, I gotta quit fooling around here. So she's hanging with me, accelerating at the same pace. So I'm not gonna fool around anymore. I drop into third, I give it about three quarter throttle, and now I'm moving. Now I'm doing about 95. Uh, you know, she's at least now six to seven car lengths behind me, put my turn signal on, get over. And you know, at this point, since I'm going a lot faster than I wanna go, I was probably going about 90, which, you know, I don't necessarily wanna drive on a regular highway. There's cops around and everything. and no need to drive fast. So as I'm passing the 18 wheeler, I drop back down to about 80. And you know, as I'm dropping down speed, passing the 18 wheeler, I'm almost past it at this point, but she comes flying up from behind. And now is about a foot off my bumper, beeps the horn, is I look in the rear view mirror, she's screaming and yelling. So I'm like, oh my God, this woman's fucking crazy. So I passed the 18 wheeler. I'm like, all right, well, whatever. It's no big deal. I get back in the right lane and I'm cruising. I was like, okay, now she can pass me. What do you suppose happens next? Well, you'd be right. She gets in the right lane and gets right behind me. Now, so there's nobody in the left lane 
uh, there's nobody but myself in the right lane and now her behind me. So she's like behind me in the right lane. There's no need for this. There, there's just no need for this. She's behind me in the right lane, uh, about a foot or two off my bumper. This is just ridiculous at this point. I'm like, this woman is completely out of her mind. This is insanity. And you know, she's beeping the horn and, and this is where I made my mistake because I was driving with the roof off. So I, I reached my hand out the top of the roof and I waved at her and gave her a thumbs up. And I think that probably pissed her off a lot for some reason. I don't know, you know, for reasons unbeknownst to me, this woman was completely crazy and really upset about everything. So, you know, that being said, I'm just driving along. I'm in the right lane and I'm like, oh boy. Okay, and that truck didn't know what he was doing. So I'm driving along in the right lane. She's behind me like two feet off my bumper. So I'm assuming, okay, she's just getting her anger out. She's gonna go past me uh, eventually, but she doesn't. So she's still behind me and I'm like, okay. So I drop it into third gear again and now I give it full throttle. I'm like, I gotta get away from this woman. And I'm confident in saying this now because you know, I was I was in genuine fear for my safety and well being. So I got up to about 130, but I look up in the rear view mirror and she's like behind me. And, and you can tell by the, the speed she's gaining that she's accelerating and uh, she's behind me. And I'm just like, what the hell is going on? And, and you know, then I just got off at the next exit and pulled off at a gas station and she goes flying by and probably didn't even see me exit. But anyway, it's just, you know, when you drive, everyone makes mistakes. There's been times when I've made a mistake and I've pissed someone off and you know, I've cut them off by accident or whatever, and that's gonna happen. And generally you wave and say you're sorry and it's no big deal. But this is one of those times where I genuinely had, there was no reason at all. It wasn't even anger on my part as much as it was confusion. I mean, I was just so confused as to why this woman was so upset. Maybe it's because my car said student driver, you know, maybe I, I just, I really don't, I don't know. It was the crazy, it was one of the craziest experiences on the road of my life, honestly. And I know that the story doesn't do it justice. And I'm sure that everyone watching this right now has a much better road rage story than that. But it was genuinely one of the most ridiculous and bizarre road rage experiences I have ever seen. So just, you know, wonderful caliber of people that you have to deal with and share the roads with here. So anyway, moving on from that, uh, Saturday was a blast. Had a great fun at Cars and Coffee with everybody coming out. So Saturday, huge success. Then I came home, my friends moved in from New Mexico to stay with us over the summer. That went really well. I mean, they had a ton of stuff. They literally brought a full-size U-Haul from New Mexico. So it was, it was a little bit crazy, and my, my basement right now is looking a little bit disheveled. But, uh, you know, that went really well. And then Sunday rolled around, and my whole plan was to go to the four nationals. And, uh, you know, I was like, okay. So I had to help my grandpa out with something. My grandparents are 90 years old, so I had to help him. He has a pretty big house with a bunch of, you know, with a lot of grass and everything. So I went over there, did the lawn. And so now it's, I don't know, it's like three or four o'clock. I'm like, cool, I'll head to Ford Nationals now. Uh, there's not gonna be anyone there, but all the stands will still be there and everything, of course, you know, the Ford stand. So I was all excited. I was all hopped up for Ford Nationals. So I go there and I don't even know what time it was, but I go there and I assume it's gonna be empty. I assume it's gonna be a great time. And I show up at the gate and everyone's gone. And I'm like, well, I thought this was through Sunday. So I, you know, I was like, oh man, this sucks. And everyone was gone. I'm saying the Ford tent had left, uh, which you know, I wanted to see everyone's cars as well, but I really was interested in seeing that GT3 uh, GT fifty. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, I haven't seen one up close or in person or anything yet. So that would have been awesome. Um, so I really wanted to see the Ford tent. But no such luck. So that was just a huge disappointment, to be honest. And uh, so I guess everyone had left, really. And I don't. It wasn't really that late. It was like maybe four o'clock at the latest, and um, nobody was there. So I missed out on Ford Nationals, and that was a huge bummer. Um, next year, it was my mistake for waiting for the last day. I guess I, ju I just thought it kind of was like an all-day thing, and then you know maybe around seven or eight, everyone would leave. But it was pretty much empty and desolate by the time I got there. Um, so that was a little bit of a bummer. But anyway, next year, I will not make the same mistake. Moving on to the review. So I started filming a review on Monday, which was awesome. And uh, you know, I'm not going to spoil it. But basically, if anybody hears from the area, it rained. It was like a freaking thunderstorm tornado. And I know I'm from Pennsylvania saying this. So anybody watching in Kansas is probably like, you're a fucking idiot. That wasn't any type of storm at all. But for up here, it was a pretty big storm. So the audio quality was awful. I didn't get all the shooting done that I wanted to get done. So I was gonna go ahead and finish the review, which will be out by the end of the week, and it's a good one. I'm just, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's good. You know, it's gonna be 
freaking incredible. So this this review that's going to be coming out is um, definitely by far my best work. And uh, you know that that's always the goal is to keep improving and to keep getting better. So I'm really happy with the way this is turning out so far. I don't have it finished, of course. I got to go back tomorrow, but then that will be finished. So look for this review either tomorrow or on Friday, which will be very cool. And I hope everyone really enjoys it. I had a blast filming it, and uh, you know I think it's going to be a pretty enjoyable experience. And one last thing here is I sit in traffic, which hopefully people don't mind. I know it's a little bit. A little bit boring. I'm not sure why. It's like noon on a Wednesday, so it really shouldn't be that that heavy traffic. I'm not sure why it is. But anyway, as I sit here, the, the other thing I wanted to mention was this. I was looking at my YouTube channel last night, and um, which, by the way, thank everyone for watching. You, know, you guys are just incredible. The support that I've gotten up to 430 subscribers, which is just which is just crazy. I mean, that's just so cool. Uh, it really is. I know I get like carried away every time I talk about it just because of, you know, how how awesome I genuinely think it is. But anyway, um, so I was I was looking at some of the YouTube settings and um, I looked at my comment section. Now, usually the way I check comments and this is how I thought you do it. Like this is just how I thought the only way to do it was is the little Google notifications uh, symbol up at the top of the page. So that's how I've always checked my comments before. But this time I went in through like the creator studio, I think they call it, whatever, I don't know, the settings on your channel. And I was looking at the comments and I realized there were like 10 to 12 of them that I had never even been alerted of. So if anybody left a comment on one of my videos, you know, I, I reply to every comment. It's easy. I like to do it. I love talking to people. That was like the whole goal of creating a channel was to create and be a part of the community. Um, so that's always one thing that I like to do. But here was like 12 comments that I had never answered. So I replied to all of them, but I just wanted to say that if I don't reply to a comment, uh, it's it's definitely because YouTube did not alert me to it, which was, which was definitely frustrating. I mean, I, I looked on there and I was like, well, what is going on? Why are all these comments suddenly appearing out of nowhere? And why was I not alerted to this before? And here we go, I'm gonna go around here. And one of the things that people said they wanted to see as far as the POV goes, last time was an acceleration so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do here that's the little place over there on the left I don't know how well you can see it but that's where I got my courses installed so anyway yeah the, the YouTube comment thing was kind of upsetting but dr. m3 which is a pretty popular channel um, actually commented on one of my videos and was shown his support which I thought was just awesome you know thanks so much for that doctor and uh, you know dr. m3 has an array of Lamborghinis and awesome cars makes really cool videos so that was something that I thought was awesome to see the fact that he was uh, willing to take time out of his day and comment on my videos I thought that was pretty cool all right so we got a nice little open here I'll let everyone pass okay and here we go going to say how fast that was but that was well over 20 miles an hour and you know that <laughs> oh my god this thing is but you know as I get better at shifting I realized that probably wasn't the fastest shifting but yeah when you're hyped up and doing it it seems incredibly fast but uh, I'm just trying not to miss any gears or anything like that but oh man it never gets off <laughs> It honestly never gets old. It's just this car, no matter how many times I do it, it never feels slow. It never feels slow. Oh man, that was awesome. I'm gonna get off the highway here. Oh man, that was just awesome. <laughs> Holy crap, that was awesome. Oh man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I've soiled my pants here right on camera and everyone knows it. But anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I will keep some updates on the wheel thing, either on Instagram and see how those, or or possibly a video, and see how those center caps turned out. I'm very hopeful for them. I think they'll be good. Also, one funny, one quick little thing about Instagram is, uh, yesterday, my girlfriend and I went to the mall. We went to go do a little shopping. And, um, you know, not only was I at Banana Republic and people were taking pictures of the car, uh, which I posted on Instagram, but also then I parked up on the mall roof, which was completely, literally, there were, I was the only car on the roof parking lot. And I went up there and I was like, oh, this is great. I can park up here. Don't have to worry about the car. Nobody will even see it. 
And then today I wake up and someone posted on Instagram, they, their post was, I found this at my place of employment. It was a picture of my car and, and the guy had found me and tagged me in it, which was just, which is just hilarious. It's so weird to see your car like in somebody else's post. It's like, oh, somebody found it and took a picture of it and was there. And even more so because it was up on the roof and like completely by itself. So it's not like anybody would be passing by. I don't know how he found it. I'm sure he said he was employed at the mall. So he was probably, you know, working there and that's why he was there. But uh, I just thought that was really funny that someone actually found it on Instagram. But anyway, don't want to ramble on. Wanted to keep this video short. I know it's been like three days since I made a video, but I made three in a row last week. So I wanted to give everyone a break from my hideous face, which is why I kept it off camera for this uh, update video. But anyway, as as always thank you guys so much for watching i hope everyone is enjoying their week so far and everyone had a great weekend i got big stuff planned for the rest of the week and this weekend so hopefully everyone will enjoy and as always thanks again and have a great day guys revs for them haters